Matt, I'm Matt Wifey. She was like, girl, your boobs about to come out. So like, smack it. Si fuera una culebra, me hubiera mordido. The fact that I can do this, I'm starting to grow a unibrow. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Griselda. As you guys can see by the title, today we are going to be doing a get ready with me because today we are attending the iHeartRadio Music Award. Listen, I love getting ready for like events, like beauty events and stuff like that. But when it comes to like an award show, it is like extra exciting because you just never know who you're gonna see, who you're gonna get to meet, and who's gonna perform, like all that good stuff. And I'm gonna be attending with CoverGirl and the fact that my job allows me to do this, it just makes me so happy and I'm like so grateful because I feel like not everyone gets the opportunity to do it and I'm just super grateful. So this is the look that we are going to be doing today. It is inspired by Jocelyn MUA on Instagram. I saw one of the looks that she created on a client and fell in love and I was just like, I need to recreate this look. If you wanna see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I am so excited because I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start prepping the skin. We're gonna use the Beauty Elixir by Caudalie. And I need to be careful because I can't be wetting my hair. You guys, this hair, when I tell you this hair has me feeling myself, like makeup or no makeup, the fact that I can do this, like I have hair. Ow. Like, look at this. Do you see this? It looks like it's growing out of my scalp. I'm so excited, but I'm also excited because I'm gonna be attending the iHeartRadio Music Award, and I've never attended this music award, but I have attended other music awards, and they're so much fun, let me tell you. What am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing? Prepping the skin, okay. So I already did my skincare, did all of that, but the key to making your makeup last for like long events like this is prepping the skin. So before we move on to foundation, we're gonna do a few things first. First, I'm gonna grab the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. because we want the foundation to have something to grab onto. So we're gonna just pat that into the skin, make sure that it gets tacky. If you have the Milk Grip Primer, that also works really well too. Um, I really like the e.l.f. Grip Primer as well and it's super affordable, so you also sometimes don't wanna break the bank. And because, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be walking the red carpet, which I really doubt, because I think they would have said something. I still wanna stay away from anything luminous because of the flash um, when they're taking pictures. So just try to stay away from anything, like any luminous serums, any luminous primers. If you know that you're gonna be wear walking a red carpet where there's gonna be flash involved, just stay away from all of that. So next, because I am more on the oily side, I am going to be using the Pore Eclipse Primer by Milk and we're just going to focus that in the areas that I know I get extremely oily which is my T-zone and this inner part and especially my nose. I also get really sweaty around my nose area, my upper lip and my chin if you know you know. Also, do you see my lashes? Like my lashes are lashing <laughs> that's not even a thing but i'm making it a thing they're so long the serum has definitely been working i've been using a lash serum for the last couple of months and like my lashes are insanely long which i'm really happy about um is it making it fuller i want to say it is i think i have new growth and i think that's gonna take a while for it to like really you know kind of come through but my existing lashes are like long so i know it's been working um if you don't know what i'm talking about i will link the serum the lash serum all right so now that we've applied the primers i'm just gonna kind of let that settle into the skin and today we're not gonna do anything underneath we're just gonna dive into the foundation and for foundation i really love using the soft matte complete foundation by nars i use the shade valencia medium 5 and you gotta make sure that you really shake it really well first. This is like a medium to full coverage and you can, you know, build it up to whatever coverage you would like. Um, I like to start off with like a medium coverage and, and then I add a little bit more if I need to. Where did my foundation go? Oh, here it is. Wow. 
Si fuera una culebra me hubiera mordido. That's what my mom would say. So as of lately, when I want the most coverage, I just use a flat brush to apply it. And then I go in with a beauty blender to smooth out the foundation, blend it in, melt it into the skin. So with this foundation, um, I do find that it does get a little bit darker once it like settles into the skin. So if you are thinking of trying this foundation, I would definitely let it sit. I don't know if you can see, but it is getting a little darker. Yeah, it's like literally matching to my actual skin tone. I really love this foundation because it gives you the best coverage and it photographs so beautifully, especially with like flash photography. So I don't know if you guys remember the last time I went to go get Botox. So if you've been watching my vlogs, you probably saw that I went to go get Botox a few weeks ago. Or no, actually the last time I went to go get Botox, I didn't get filler. So I went to go get Botox and filler a few months ago and I remember she was telling me that she was going to put the remaining like in my left lines but I feel like it's migrated up here because I don't know if you guys can see. This side is like flat and then this side right here you can see it's a little fuller. So this next time that I go like I, I definitely want her to dissolve that filler. So for concealer we're going to be using the Creamy Concealers by NARS. I'm going to be using um, Medium 2 ginger and medium one custard so the ginger is mainly to like do a little bit of color correcting like underneath my eyes and then I go in with the custard to kind of highlight and as of lately I have really been just putting the darker color in the inner part and then going in with the lighter shade in the center I love how that corrects any pigmentation but brightens at the same time and then I bring it here around the nose area and then we're just going to place it right in the center and I do like to bring it in just a little bit in the inner part to brighten just a little so for contour we're going to contour with the Tarte Sculpt Tape this is in the shade Warm Bronze. This has become my new favorite, but I really love because it just blends into the skin so smoothly. Once you look like, connect the dots. And also I love how you can lock and unlock to, so the product doesn't waste. Since I'm going for more of like a fuller like beat, I love to like drench my skin with the Fix Plus. Um, this is not so much like a hydrating mist. This, this is like my MAC girl coming out um, because this is how like they taught us how to use it back in, you know, my MAC days. Just think of it like the grip primer to the foundation. So this is going to help melt the product but also let the powder adhere to the skin once you've set it. It just kind of melts all of the products together and it has glycerin in it, which is the humectant. Um, and it just kind of just grabs onto everything. So I like to drench my skin with this to get my skin ready. So when I start setting my skin, my skin doesn't look too overly powdered. So love using this before I set my face. I literally just kind of drench my skin gonna grab my fan this fan I think is kind of broken it's gonna make some weird noise there you go I have to like smack it with my dual fiber brush this was the Mac 159 we're just going to start blending everything together I also like to put whatever is left on the back of my hand and then I pick it up with the brush and then you can just start blending the contour out I like to do like a swiping and patting motion at the same time. I honestly get so excited to attend events like this because you really never know who you're gonna see or who you're gonna like talk to like celebrity wise. The first award show that I ever attended was the Golden Globes and I got to meet Viola Davis. Listen, she is literally one of the best actress like she is like she she deserves every single award she is such an incredible actress like i was sitting next to or not next to but like right behind um what's his name the really tall guy um oh my god i can't think of his name right now will ferrell and i got to meet megan good it was like like celebrities left and right and i was like literally like starstruck 
because that was my very first time attending an award show like that. And it was the Golden Globes. And I was like, I can't believe this is happening. Like I'm surrounded by like A-list celebrities. And it was like literally a dream. And I went up to Viola Davis and I literally was like about to cry because I was just like, you are literally the best. And she was so sweet. She held my hand and she I remember she was wearing like this really uh, bright yellow dress. And I like complimented her dress and she complimented my dress. And then she also told me, she was like, girl, your boob is about to come out. And I was just like, oh. it really was. Um, I was having like a outfit malfunction and not on purpose but you know what i mean I, I will say they're not as glamorous as they make it seem because they take a lot of breaks kind of like in between but it's still so fun because like you get to see the performances live and i feel like i just get the chills just like listening to that because i'm like wow i get to experience stuff like that and i'm truly blessed so for blush we're going to be using this nor face skin glass in the shade spicy it's a really pretty like peach warm skin tone ish kind of color um and I, honestly i'm just gonna pick it up with the back of my beauty blender we're gonna pop that like right it's such a beautiful shade i really have been loving this for like every day it's the perfect everyday blush. And then I'm gonna use the side that I blended on my concealer to kind of like mesh everything together. And if you feel like the blush kind of migrated too high up, you can always add a little bit more of that concealer. It makes a huge but subtle difference when you do that. I actually forgot to do this part before, but I'm gonna remove my foundation from my lips. My lips are crusty. Because I'm gonna be doing a matte lip but I want my lips to be like a little fuller, not that I need it, but I'm gonna use the Forget the Filler Lip Gloss by Lawless. And when I tell you this right here works so good and the applicator is beautiful. Like it hugs the lips perfectly. So I'm just gonna leave this on until I finish the rest of my makeup. And once I take this off, you guys are gonna see how voluptuous my lips are gonna look for the under eyes we're gonna be using the banana bread by huda beauty before we set the under eyes we gotta just make sure there's no creasing and then i'm gonna grab this makeup forever 140 wavy brush which i love to set my under eyes we're gonna use banana bread pow we're gonna use banana bread powder and i'm gonna just really saturate the brush go in and set i'm just applying the thinnest layer before i go underneath and bake do you guys see this it's just like not okay i really don't like the way that that looks before i bake i'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face and i'm just gonna be using this makeup forever this is the pro finish powder in the shade 153 and i'm just gonna be using this kvd brush lately what i've been doing is i grab the translucent powder and my setting powder and mix it together and then we're just gonna start lightly dusting it onto the skin almost like dusting and doing patting motions now we're gonna go ahead and move on to baking we're gonna use that same banana bread powder pick it up and then we're just gonna work that into the powder puff and then we're gonna press it in because I already set underneath the eyes I'm just doing a very subtle layer of baking I'm not like really going in. The only areas that I'm really heavily baking is the areas where I get extremely sweaty, which are my upper lip area, my chin area, and then the bridge of the nose. Not so much the whole bridge, but literally like the tip and like midway. Cause from here up, I don't sweat, which is like the weirdest thing. And then really setting like right above the brows because that's normally where I get really oily too. And then my brows start looking crazy. I really want to make sure that that's set too. So for bronzer, you guys already know I love using this PowerSculpt Velvet Bronzer in the shade Medium Level 6. And I'm just picking up this Smashbox, this sheer powder brush. Just going to follow what I already created. These brows needed construction, let me tell you. 
I definitely need to get my brows done because this is unacceptable. Like, that is crazy. Look at this. I, I didn't even know that my brow hairs can get that long. I just haven't had the time to do anything. Like, I thank God for concealer. We're about to clean them up because it's just a lot going on up here. I mean, I low-key kind of like it because it's like gives it like a very like bushy, like feathered. But when I tell you my brow hairs have like a mind of their own, they literally do whatever the hell they want. They never listen to me just like Jordan. Jordan is literally the most stubborn dog. Not me comparing my brows to my dog. I don't know if I said this. I, I don't think I did. But when you're doing like a red carpet or just doing a lot of like flash photography, try to stay away from using a lot of products that have SPF. You definitely can put SPF on like underneath like your actual SPF, but any products that have SPF you want to try to stay away from because of like the flashback, you'll end up looking like a ghost on film. I actually went ahead and I did my left eye off camera, obviously, you guys can see. I'm not gonna lie, um, I'm not 100% like I liking the way that I did it. Love it on her, I think it's like my eye shape. I think I went too high up. I don't know. I personally am not thrilled about how it came out. But the reason why I did it off camera was because I wanted like to test it out to see like I'm like okay, let me like play with it. I really I love the color combo and I love how everything else came out, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and just get into the right eye. So, we're going to first use a base usually I use like a skin tone like I base from P Louise but today I'm using the remore 0.5 which is a lot lighter um, it's borderline white so we are going to place that all over the lid first using a lighter base always helps with the colors being a little bit more opaque. And then I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush and kind of blend the edges. I brought you guys in a little closer. The girl she did the makeup on definitely has a bigger lid space, so maybe that's what it is. There's no turning back now because I have to go to this award show, so we're just gonna have to thug it out. And then we're gonna pick up a little bit of translucent powder with that same brush and set it before it creases and again if you don't need to set your base god bless you because my oily ass lids i you, you can literally fry some chicken on my eyelids for the eyes we're going to be using the stone cold fox palette by color pop and we are going to look at how pretty this is honestly i think this is the second time i use this palette i try to stay away from like cool tone eyeshadows but this obviously requires it to be cool tone so i'm gonna pick up this shade right here so we're gonna be using quarry days you rock and then we're gonna be using rumor mill and then we're gonna be using these two down here this one's called cold Classic, and then this one is called rock bottom so for the crease we're going to be using this brush this is a morphe literally really old morphe brush but i'm pretty sure you guys have one of these brushes it is like a flat fluffy brush if that makes sense we're going to pick up Cory days and we're just going to start placing that into the crease this is like a warm cool tone uh, transition shade this also creates a guide for when you're going to do the cut crease using a more fluffy brush this one is a ColourPop e2 brush i'm picking up that same color and then i'm bringing it outwards and then picking up that second shade you rock we're gonna deepen the crease and this is more like a deeper gray then we're gonna pick up rumor mill with that same brush and this is just gonna help to find the crease a little bit more and I'm actually placing the brush like right flat on its stomach going back and forth um, on the crease because if I go like this it's gonna open up the bristles and then it's gonna spread the color on my lid and that's not what I want so I'm placing it flat and then we're just going back and forth okay so now picking up that darker gray I'm using the Sigma dome pencil in the shade and the shade <laughs> And the number E31 but first actually I am going to place some translucent powder because I'm using a darker eyeshadow so I don't want any of the fallout to 
kind of mess up my under eyes. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Okay, now we can grab that brush and I'm using the Dome Pencil E31 brush and I'm picking up Cut Classic and I'm going to start. It looks like she has like a smoky cut crease. So I'm picking up a darker gray eyeshadow and then just kind of like blending them out towards the outer corner, almost creating a smoky wing, but not so smoky. And I'm getting it really close to the lash line and bringing it up a little higher, kind of creating like that outer V. We're gonna just blend those shades together. Now we're gonna use that rock bottom, which is that really black shade, and I'm bringing it closer to the outer corner, not so much the inner part. Just kind of smoking out the lash line. And it doesn't really have to be perfect, so don't even worry about it. I feel like every time I watch an award show, Doja Cat is literally the one that just takes the show. She always shows out with like literally everything, hair, makeup, wardrobe even like jewelry like down to the jewelry but also i feel like the iheart radio is like more chill it's not like super like glam i'm wearing it's kind of like the dress is called mine well it's not a dress it's like a blazer dress it's kind of weird it's not weird it no it's weird because it looks like it could potentially be a blazer but the way that they cut it is kind of like the boobs are a little out like my midsection is out and then it's like the skirt part but it's all connected together. Um, okay, so now we're gonna mix You Rock and Lux, which is like the really light eyeshadow. And I'm actually being very gentle with the application because again, I don't wanna lose the cut crease. I'm kind of using the tip of the brush to kind of like push the eyeshadow right where the crease starts. So for eyeliner, we're gonna be using the Point Made Bodacious Black Eyeliner. And I'm doing, honestly, the thinnest eyeliner. I don't know why I'm craving Panda Express. Talk about random. Yes, this is thin. I don't want it any thicker than that because then it's gonna take away from the cut crease. I'm gonna apply a little bit of eyeliner underneath to disguise my top waterline. And I'm using the one size Point Made Bodacious Black 24 Hour Gel Eyeliner Pencil. The pigment on this is insane. And then for the bottom waterline, I'm going to be using All Around White by Makeup Forever. This is their Artist Color Pencil. And then I'm also kind of bringing it out a little bit. So for mascara, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And honestly, this mascara speaks for itself because it's an OG. And I like to do only like a light layer of this because this thing will have my lashes scratching my forehead because it lengthens them so much. We're gonna let that dry. I have to leave here no later than 3.15 to make it on time because I could not be late. And around this time in LA, traffic literally will eat you alive. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely feel like I've lost a little bit of my artistry touch because sometimes I get frustrated with myself and I'm just like, this is not coming out the way that I envisioned. I know I always say practice makes perfect, but honestly, I have not been practicing, so that's the reason why it's not coming out perfect. Let's go ahead and pop these on. I am popping on the 429 Lashes by Ardell. Um, these are very, like, flary towards the end. I wanted to put my Geminis on by Birdie Lashes, but I think I'm out, so I have to place another order. For my bottom lashes, because I don't want the lashes to be like intense, I'm gonna use the Birdie Lashes mascara and I'm using the bottom side, which has like the smallest, smallest brush. And this really coats every single lash. For the lips, I'm gonna be using this Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. For lipstick, we're gonna be using Matte, Matte Wifey. Matte, I'm Matte Wifey. That's a really interesting name, but it's by Morphe and I'm, I clearly like it because 
I never really paid attention to the name, but this is the shade that we're gonna be using. All right, so I went ahead and got dressed. I literally have to be leaving within the next 30 minutes, and y'all know I'm notorious for being late to everything, but I have like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna take this time to like just get my things together, order my car, and make sure that I'm there on time. Um, let me show you guys my outfit really quick, hopefully. I'm like showing a little booby, so hopefully it doesn't get taken down, but this is the fit. Just so you guys get a visual of like what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me to attend the iHeartRadio Music Award. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.